everyone, and welcome to iReddit, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for two Wednesday, Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017. I am Michael Schwa. And I'm Nathan Wood. And I am Guest. Welcome, Guest. How are you today, sir? I'm full. Dropped frames detected. Wonderful. That's <clears throat> a great way to start the show. It, Not it particularly. Hasn't even, it hasn't even popped up for me yet. Yeah, but my computer hates me. Remember that. Aw. What do you what what do you need for your computer to run more smooth? I need a new um, central processor unit. I need a new CPU. I need a new processor. But I can't upgrade my processor without upgrading my motherboard because I already have almost the best processor you can get on my old ass motherboard. But if I upgrade the motherboard to the new processor, then I also have to upgrade my RAM because those processors can't use my old RAM. Okay. So Mother. I have to upgrade the motherboard, the processor, and the RAM all at the same Tell time. Tell your children so not to walk my way. Uh, Cost-wise, if you if you want... Mother. Seriously? God damn it. Uh, it'd be like... If, if, Mother! If, if you went on the cheap end, it's like 500 bucks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nathan, do you take requests? Do Simple Man. I, I can't do requests. I'm sorry. Oh, it, it has to be a spur of the moment thing. That's fair. What can we spur him into next? Fuck. <laughs> I want to be the very best. Oh, stop. I already see the Gyarados picture down here. I can't handle that. <laughs> Please remember, everyone, that you can go to patreon.com slash daily internet to help support this show, such as helping me buy new computer parts. Um, because, uh, goddamn, my computer is just... It's so sad. Hey, you never answered my question. What? What, how much are you looking at? I, if I was to buy it, so if I switched from Intel to to AMD and didn't buy like grade A and instead bought grade B, it'd be like five hundred bucks. Okay, but that I don't have five hundred bucks. <laughs> Damn it, Josh! I love and hate you at the same time. <laughs> what? There's a there's this massive glow. From the sun. No, that's from me. I'm just beaming right now. From the other side? Sure. He's holy. Hello from the other side! Sorry, that's terrible. I apologize. Oh, God. Uh, my ears! Th that's like the other day I was standing at my... I, I, so I, I go to my family's house, my, my sister and my mom's house every day for lunch when I'm at work, right? Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. He does. Yeah? And, oh, I bet. Yeah, totally do. I've done it. And... One day I was over there, and my me and my entire family just started singing the national anthem. Oh. Yep. You guys are so wholesome and American. That's, <laughs> hashtag it's, it's American. So hashtag weird. patriot. Hashtag national anthem. Hashtag proud. I'm not moving my Chinese food so I can put my feet up. Not at all. It's totally what he just did. It's totally what I just did. Yep. Because here in America, we're weird, and we play our national anthem all the damn time for everything. No, no, so, no, no, no. Actually, the last time I heard it was the last ba baseball game I went to. How uh, long? I almost said basketball. Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, 2006. Well, that's a lie. Because you went, went to a, a derby game, game like four wrist. months ago, and they played it at that. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Yep. I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. I just wasn't paying attention. Get dunked, nerd. Uh, get dunked? Baseball to basketball? I don't know. All right. It's just something I say. Don't Field goal! Don't ask me for context. Field goal. <laughs> Zach, no. Zach in the chat room says, I didn't want my ears to bleed tonight, but hey, what a surprise. I, I bet yeah. they're talking about you, Josh. Yeah, because we're on that. Oh, delay. wait. No, no. They're talking about Nathan's awful ass singing. <laughs> hey, fuck you. I'm a goddamn pinnacle. Oh, then they're in, they're in, they're in for a surprise next. <laughs> You're a goddamn dick. Dude, if, if the Patreon gets to $100, I have to rap. So... Sucks to suck, nerd. Hey, if it gets to 150, you have to shave. When's That's the, fine. When's the that date grows for the back, but your pride. What do you mean? That never like, comes back. Is that back. just your monthly due? Yeah. Oh, dude, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is like, I got this covered. I'm gonna make you guys do all the shit all at once. Does that mean I, if it if it goes over 100 and 150 at the same time, do I have to rap while Nathan is shaving? Oh my god, that would be the best yeah. ever. He'd have to like take his time with the shaving and like do it on screen. I would want to. Well, like, I planned on doing it on screen, it. anyways. I just planned on it, just doing it right then and there. But yeah, but you got to take your time to it, like, like you know, like uh, oh yeah, appreciate oh, I'm it. I'm really you know? enjoying this rap that I'm gonna. Mike I'm gonna do right it now. real slow, forcing Michael to rap real long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Just uh, just make me do like "Rap God" by Eminem. 
No, you do uh, no. The, uh, alphabet, whatever the hell it was. No, you you need to do the entire pillow talking song. No, no, no. <laughs> I need to do um, Cold Forty Five by Afro Man. Oh man. Oh no. Uh, but, but pillow yeah. talking is like twelve minutes long. Ah, uh, that's that's nice. Oh no, we should get a we should find a karaoke video of a really, really, really thick Japanese accent and some really terrible like. Just bad rap music for you to rap. She bangs. She bangs. Yes. Do oh. you know you just you just got to drop a verse on the Teriyaki Boys song for Tokyo Drift. Uh. <laughs> you know what's you know what's really terrible is when you translate a song that's like not English and you translate it to English and yeah, and it sounds tragic. You don't say. We should have him sing one of those. No, he has to come up with his own. Uh, wait, uh, you wait, have to wait, first wait, 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 Start the thing. I don't, that that's only that's that's a hundred dollars. We're getting there, you know. Yeah, I, that that's no. You just gotta pick your language, dude. You need to do Esperanto. Gaelic. No, dude, Esperanto. Right. San Francisco <laughs> has their own language. China tells United States and North Korea to stop irritating each other. This is submitted by Assimilation Me to Our World News. If you two don't fucking settle down, I'm gonna have to split you two up. Yeah, already what, an the ocean Pacific Ocean. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, we, we've been in uh, some tense situations recently with North Korea, and we've been asking China, like, "Yo, tense hey, in the middle of the ocean, Michael, where are you gonna pound the spikes in?" I was literally just about to make that pun. Oh my god, I'm not even hitting the button. Fuck you. I hit it. Love hit you. the button. You spoil sport. That's why you have the fucking <laughs> button in the first place. Thank you. <laughs> Instead of encouraging North Korea to uh, bow to sanctions, instead we just um, China's telling North Korea and us to stop bickering and sit down and shut up and be civilized adults. Oh man, oh man, that's that that makes me feel like he's an MP in a combat zone. Oh, no running. <laughs> yeah, no, that's about right. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they shouldn't be poking uh, to be at fair, each that, other. That we joke shouldn't be isn't poking mine. at each other. My friend Avery made that joke. That was his joke, and he's going to call me out on it later. Does Avery listen slash watch the show? I mean, if I'm in it, yeah. Yeah? Are, are you, are you going to make him watch it then? Probably. Tie him down? Yeah. With yeah. his two-tone beard? Hell yeah. His, his sick two-tone beard? it is the coolest, because it's down the middle. Yep. It, yep. It's crazy and awesome. Either way, um, there's not much on this story past that besides China's president in response to all of this. Like China was very um, cautious. Nathan, what? I'm wearing your shirt. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm not wearing yours, unfortunately. I should have been more prepared. China was concerned I'm over not. the thawed anti-missile defense system that we installed in South Korea because they were concerned about that radar being able to reach into Chinese airspace. Okay. We built it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> America. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because America. <laughs> Fuck them. So, but they, they they do want to not get involved. Instead, just want us to sit down, shut up, and talk it out, essentially. And, I mean, Trump has said already that he would be willing to do so, but as much of a child as Trump is, Kim Jong-un kind of has him beat. Trump is, uh, he's, he's one of those people that, uh, he says a lot of things. So Kim Jong is like eight and Trump is like twelve. Yeah, but Kim Jong at least I mean, not actually. Never mind. I was gonna say he does what he says he's going to do, but then I have no basis for reference because I don't actually pay attention to North Korean politics uh, except I mean, for when they affect the United States. He uh, he still does what he wants to do, kind of. It just he fails at it because their missiles suck. So he's like a younger Donald Trump. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Which is weird because, like, Donald Trump has said nice things about him. Yeah, but, that, I mean, that doesn't, you know, help North Korea take over the world, though. I've said nice things about Japanese food, but I still can't stand curry. 
That that's curry that's, is Indian. Dude, there's Japanese curry too. Okay, but generally it's an Indian food though. Generally? Yeah. Can't you just, I can't believe you just assumed its origin like that. Lasai. I'm just saying though, uh fucking curry hey. ramen is the goddamn jam. Hey, Nathan, you've got something in your beard. Do I? Right here. I can't see the the camera is going to take like an hour. Yeah, he doesn't get the live feed. He gets the delayed version. Well, not only that, you don't actually have anything in your beard. Oh, okay. I thought it was like water or something. Nine. Stephen Hawking warns humans will have to leave Earth in another hundred years to survive. Oh, no. This was submitted by Hitman2022 to Our World News. So this is basically what we were talking about yesterday, about that there is a limited time frame that we have to either fix the damage we've done and begin reversing it, or we're fucked. And... I just I'm, I'm sorry, Kendall. My my, I can't close my blinds. <laughs> that they're broken. They are. The, the solar flare. The 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 light by my head is just getting brighter. <laughs> well, that's because it's Alaska, you guys. I know, but it, it wasn't there when we Hashtag started. Hashtag Shoji screen. But it, I'm gonna find a good blanket to put up. Uh, yeah, I, we. I looked for a shoji screen. None of the goddamn thrift stores have one, Will, and buying a new one was a hundred dollars. How make you're a hundred dollars? Uh, to make me wrap it is. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Patreon.com slash daily internet. <laughs> anyway, so he had mentioned a couple of years ago that he believed that... Josh, could you do me a favor and just lower those blinds on yeah. that window a bit? Jesus because Christ. holy shit. I'm, here too. I'm, I'm, I'm literally a solar flare right now. <laughs> it's just getting worse. Anyway, so... Blanket there at the moment, though. I mean, I could, I could go put one up there. Hey, check that out. It's wonderful. So, he had talked a couple of years ago that we only had about a thousand years of Earth left under the current system, but he also has come out to say that he believes we need to start figuring out how to get off and building civilizations off of Earth if we actually want to survive. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Mars. Ship potatoes. He says otherwise, he believes otherwise that humanity as a species won't make it more than a thousand more years. Do you believe him? I don't know. It's hard not to believe Stephen Hawking. Like, the dude's smarter than he realizes. He's, he's not I, I known think... for exaggerating or lying. Yeah, no, I, th I think I think we should definitely listen to him. I mean, and when literally you are as intelligent as he is, and you are crippled in such a fashion that the only thing you can do is sit there and think about smart shit, the dude has no distractions really whatsoever. The only thing he's able to do is sit there and think about all the smart shit that's in his head. Well, I bet he enjoys it, too. Oh, I didn't say it was a bad thing. And just think... No, doesn't he teach, too? I thought he was a professor. <clears throat> I I don't know. We should make a, a colony on a planet meant for purely conservative people so that they can do what they did oh so long ago and sail the fuck away. I think instead we need to live in my magical Christmas land and unite as a species and form the, the Galactic Federation of Planets. While I entirely agree with the optimistic point of view, there's what we want to happen and then what is more likely. Or we can go the nerd route and jump into Mass Effect and just form the Alliance. I think all that's dumb. <clears throat> Anarchy! Well, we're, all, we're, only going, we're only going to, like... What? Wait, Unite? Th this, this, this means anarchy? Anarchy! Why, why does this mean anarchy? What? Y you held up a, a, a peace sign, but with the back no, of your hand. No, no, that's, that's, um, that's the British symbol for, for jog on, you know, fuck you. Is it? Yeah. It, it originates from, um, the, the British and French war. Um, the, the French said that they were gonna cut off the British's bow fingers, and they, they never did, so they were like, hey, we still got them, fuck you. That's, um, I believe that's a myth. Is it? I think. How do you huh? flip people off, by the way, Josh? <laughs> you, you stupid fuck, no, you do not. No, no I do. With, with, like this? No, I do. It's so I can get do it. it at work. Okay, if you're not at work... If I'm not at work, I just call him a cunt. Oh, okay. That's fair. 
I used my words, sir. But words are wasted on most people. That's accurate. But that's why you get creative. Or you just don't waste your time and flip them off and walk away. I like ignoring them and walking away. I mean, that well, works hold too. On, hold on, let's see. Uh, I mean, I, I, I could do the, the one finger. Well, that was the question is do, do you do it like this or do you do it like this? Uh, or like this? Just with the wings. With the wings? I used to do it like this with it, the wings, but I haven't done it in so long. It's just. It's not as classy as calling somebody you can bite your thumb. a derelict or a. Well, honestly, as a cunt. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I do. Um, you can also do the thing with your arms. Up yours. Yeah. <laughs> or, or if I'm really like, if I know them, I'll just hit them. That's fair. All right. Eight. Get out, filmmaker Jordan Peele signs first look deal with Universal. This was submitted by Neil Poonhandler to our movies. So, if you haven't seen it yet, Get Out was a film that was produced and... Don't spoil it for me. ...was produced and directed <laughs> by Jordan Peele. Um, it was made on a budget of $5 million and brought in $189 million. So, people were like, hey! Every single production company in the world was like, So, uh, Jordan Peele, you, uh, you want to work with us? Because you just... That, yeah, you want to do that again? You, you think, shit gold? You th yeah, you think you can uh, re re replicate that? And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could. Um, he's reached an agreement with Universal. We don't know the context of that deal, just that he'll be working with Universal uh, exclusively for the next two years on the next set of film that is going to be associated with the idea behind Get Out, which is bringing light in a unique fashion to things like race issues, gender issues, th et cetera. Okay. I like oh. seeing original perspectives on that, on those topics. I think it'll be really good. Definitely. Um, I, I really, I've, I've talked about Get Out before, even though I haven't watched it, but I, enjoy, I appreciate that what it's doing as a horror movie, from what I've read. Because, like, modern horror is the goddamn jam. It's less about jump scares and more about psychological just mindfuckery. Yeah, because that's what the two of us need, Nathan. More, more mindfuckery. I like it, you know? That's what we all need more of. Yeah. I, that's roll. why I really enjoyed The Void that fucked with my mind for a bit, even though it was kind of... It was just, you know, it's a Cthulhu movie, really. I haven't seen The Void, but I heard it's good. It's fantastic, I tell you what. Fan-fucking-tastic? Uh, I don't know, man. Mm, okay. That's I feel fair. like, that's, I feel like that, that term's overplayed now. Oh, okay. UK's Takamak reactor has achieved plasma. Also a good way to hurt your uh, your girly bits. What? Fan fucking. The oh, blades, sure. they move really quick, oh, dude. God damn it. But if you have fans, then that's it's perfect. Fun. Yep, uh, that's it. Yep. Oftentimes they want to. So Nathan, uh, who is this submitted by? Grim Reaper 07 to our Futurology. So a good general way to describe plasma is it is a molten mass of electricity that is made of charged gas. Fourth state of matter. Yep. It is not a solid. It's not a liquid. It's not a gas. It's it's, it's, it's plasma. Sounds like what comes out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, accurate. So, the reason this is important, one, this is how the sun is powered. The, 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 the sun in the sky it is, is powered through this reaction of nuclear fusion. Nuclear. Yep. And, nuclear. What, and so what this means is we are able to achieve the sun on Earth. Literally 15 million degrees Celsius or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit on the surface of the planet. I feel like that's dangerous. Oh, it is dangerous, but it is an extremely efficient, powerful, clean form of energy that its only waste byproduct is helium. Oh, that's... Oh, that's cool. We're going to be speaking all squeaky from now on. No, no, no. Helium yeah. is a fantastic resource. It's, it, it's one of the best fuels that you could get. It's just extremely limited on Earth. But yeah, all those fucking... All those people waste it in those balloons. But nuclear fusion, one, while completely clean for the environment, I'm not going to say it's safe because, I mean, there is the danger of it. Because it's nuclear? Yeah, but it doesn't produce any radioactive byproducts. Just helium. Yep, just helium. 
That's pretty cool. So if they can perfect this and get it running, then they hope to have straight up nuclear fusion power plants, which will basically be unlimited free clean energy. Unlimited free clean helium. Also, it will make the balloon industry expand at an increasing rate. But we don't want them it's to explode. Pun. It's a pun. Should I keep my finger near this button? I don't know. I feel like the balloon industry is just a bubble that's soon to pop. It's a pun. You got more? I don't. <laughs> I'm out. No. Good. I'm glad that that deflated on you. I don't it's a pun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking Michael, you're so full of hot air. <laughs> oh, God damn. It's a pun. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. <laughs> Nuclear, the S is silent? Wait, what S? I'm confused. Hey, I just said H E H E H E repeatedly. I need you to hit the button, please. It's a pun! Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is important because if we do get to the point where this is easy to accomplish it essentially means and if we can shrink it down to smaller things to where we can put it in mobile functions i mean it, it can power spaceships that'd be fucking sick i, 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 I still like the idea of that little uh, bit bouncing back and forth forever for space travel i feel like that's amazing yeah it, it's it's slow we just gotta we gotta up those numbers, you know. Uh, yeah. Hey, Nathan, how about you figure out how to up our podcast numbers? I, I. That'll probably be easier. Hashtags. Find how hashtags. dare you? I, I, I will make a bet with you. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. I have to figure out a way to make space travel easier with the uh, the wave things that go back and forth. My emojis are sticking to the screen. And you gotta make our podcast successful. I feel like I'm gonna win this bet just on I don't the, think I don't think so. On the prospect of time. Joke's no. on you. He's gonna fix it. I think the, I think the, I got the this. space travel thing. Okay. So are is this a bet like you've already won? Is that what you're saying? I've Or are you 100%. saying that you don't believe that I can make this podcast successful? I will tell oh. you this. I am oh. I am making this oh. bet in confidence. Oh. Oh. oh bird. What are you what are you trying to say, Nathan? I am making this bet in confidence. <laughs> Okay, what, wait, what do we win? Um, High fives all around and the millions well, of dollars Well, okay, in the game. so if we, it, all right, so if I win, we get paid money because I've s s just perfected a way of space travel. Okay. And if you win, we're famous. I don't know if we'll be famous, but sure, all wait, right. I believe in you. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes. Six. Woman found guilty and faces a year in jail for laughing at Jeff Sessions. This is the most clickbaity thing. I'm sorry. Uh, this was submitted by TFG1 to our news. It, it, it's not as clickbaity as it might seem. So during the confirmation hearing for Jeff Sessions, who is the current appointee for the Attorney General for the United States of America, um, there was a group of protesters that were there to view the, uh, the appointment hearing. Um, somebody made a funny quip about how they just made a, a statement about Jeff Sessions, which could easily be seen as satirical. And this person laughed maniacally in response. Um, and <laughs> the reason that they've been arrested and are being charged is because they, it, it wasn't like they just laughed. They were I ugly cackling. laughing. Yeah. Ugly laughing. <laughs> cackling, <laughs> and, and, and didn't stop. <laughs> and so they were arrested <laughs> for disrupting the process essentially my ass well there's two other people that came with this person that were dressed in kkk clothes that were also arrested for disrupting for disrupting okay. process yeah that's fine. were they actually yeah, charged okay. with anything though nothing's been done yet like they have like they haven't been indicted but yeah so i mean they could face a year yeah they're not going to though. We'll see. I mean, one like the the person who got arrested, she has revealed that her lawyers intend to let the charges go through and then get them removed afterwards, which I'm not sure why that's better, but I don't know enough about the legal process of why you'd want to do it that way anyway. Um, but better for her street cred, yo. 
Uh, I mean, if the lawyers get it removed, then there would be no street cred, street cred anyway. Okay, what's that? <laughs> I, I have not heard Kirsten laugh. So, uh, basically, uh, if you are attending a function of the government, don't disrupt it, because it's technically illegal. But, I mean, it's not illegal to laugh. No, it's not illegal to laugh. Like, if she would have sat there and giggled to herself, it, would have been, it wouldn't have been an issue. But she was being obnoxious, essentially. What is this, England? Are we just <laughs> arresting people because they laugh like that? I didn't vote for you. Oh, I, I, I have that. Well, I didn't vote for you! <laughs> Got it. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, it is. It's the best. Five. New indestructible one-pound coins are melting, and some centerpieces have dropped out. This <laughs> so submitted by this calls for a muse to R, not the onion. Yeah, so <laughs> the United Kingdom has introduced new currency, specifically these one-pound coins um, that were being coined. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> feel bad about myself <laughs> as being indestructible <laughs> oh god i i'm just gonna go jump off my third my third story back balcony oh, now your reaction about it's the best part <laughs> oh there's some genuine sorrow in his voice too well like oh. i it was too oh. late i couldn't go back from it oh uh, come on you can't you can't do this we're we're almost to the to the last quarter <laughs> you son of a bitch. Come on. Anyway, so a lot of the coins have been coming out being misstamped with printing errors or just falling apart or looking like they were melted. And the the the, the mint came out and said, yeah, that happens. When we're, you're printing 45 million coins, you are going to get some errors. That's fine. But when they say that they're indestructible, I just want to like look at them and be like, you'll keep using that part. I don't think it means I do not think, think it, it means, means what you think it means. Damn it. Hang on. Okay. I, I, I gotta... my, uncle, my uncle's here. Hi, Ken. Uh, Hi, Ken. I wonder what other quotes we need from uh, uh, fucking Princess Bride. Can uh. we just get the entire movie? <laughs> just just, just as, as the whole movie as one sound bite? Yeah. <laughs> oh... Anyway. I have it on VHS over there. The first of which is never get into a land war in Asia. Yeah. And what's the second? Never get into a battle of wits uh, with a Sicilian when uh, death, death is, is on. on the line. There you go. Yeah, that's what it is. And then, and then death. Ha ha ha. Either way, indestructible coins are quite destructible. And, and sad. Go figure. Right. Four. Texas officer who shot unarmed kid and whose innocent brother was arrested is fired. Oh, okay. This is submitted by Northern New Jersey to our news. Was this yesterday or the day before that we talked about this? I think it was yesterday. The the Balch Springs case? Uh, no, I think that was Monday. Okay, anyway. so I we... keep thinking today's Tuesday. Nope, I it's Wednesday. Problem. That's Every all right. Morning. I called it Tuesday, too. So... We talked about the, the Dallas case in Balch Springs where an officer shot and killed a 15-year-old boy who was driving away from a party. Um, the officer had been responding to gunshots as well as uh, dis disturbances in the area. The vehicle was driving away. He claimed it was driving towards him. He pulled out his rifle and shot at the vehicle, killing the kid. Um, so initially we didn't know what was happening with that situation. It has come back out and the police officer has been, um, ejected and is being charged because there's a lot of evidence that supports that this guy, uh, this isn't his first offense in this regard. Um, that he, oh. that he has ran into other cases that there are cases in the past of that he has committed similar acts. So he's just trigger dick. happy. Yeah. He's just trigger happy. Well, I mean, it's unfortunate that it took another a death to to fire this man, but you know. And what what really bothers me is, you know, the idea that sin, I mean, a lot of these cases they're only coming to light because of the ease of communication that we have in in our in the, these days. How many do you think went unreported entirely? 30 years ago. There's still a lot that still go unreported. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, but, I mean, statistically, like, I mean, how many more? I mean, because... Um, probably tons. It's terrifying. A lot of hunting accidents. Well, also, I mean, we talked about a year ago about how many people go missing from prisons. Yeah. 
Yeah. With no reason or explanation that, and they just disappear. And, and that still happens today. Well, all right, my friend. This is where I have to bow out of your show early. Yeah, you got it. You got a hot date? Uh, maybe. Good. Yeah, it's good. It'll tell, be good. Tell her I said hi. I shall. Uh, she's really eager to meet you, both you and Nathan and Jen. Wonderful. We'll make this happen at some point. <laughs> Says you. Br I'll never meet her. Bring her to the Derby game. Maybe there, there's games happening all day Friday and all day Saturday. So if Pretty you sure have, she wants to punch me in the face. Why would I want to meet her? Why does she want to punch you in the face? Uh, when is Jen actually competing? Uh, I you go go talk to her. Because <sighs> Josh that's, is the property. That's of me. work. I'm sorry. I will be announcing the entire time, literally from beginning to end. Oh, so uh, hydrate. Don't. Oh, wear out your voice. Oh, trust me. Yeah, yeah. Understand. Love you, bud. Love you too. Bye, Bye Nathan. Bye. Goodbye, Josh. I'm going to move my camera now. Thank you for joining us, guest. Not that he can speak anymore anyway. Well, he can still know me. That he has lost his ability to speak entirely. Three. Brandon Roy shot in leg while shielding children from gunfire. This is submitted by, oh my god, uh, the the Bear Jew to RNBA. Yeah, that, that works for me. Good enough. Good job, sir. So Brandon Roy, who used to play for the Trailblazers, um, he since has had to retire from the NBA, um, even after receiving NBA Rookie of the Year and three NBA All-Stars, uh, but he had to retire because of a knee injury. Um, he currently coaches for Nathan Hale High School in Seattle, Washington. Um, he was he didn't even know the kids or anything like that. It was just in his neighborhood when some people drove by and started just a random act of violence and started shooting at this group of people, and he quickly ran over and threw himself in front of this group of kids and got shot in the leg from doing so. Hmm. We need like a hashtag hero button. Right. Um, so I'm not a very big sports person. Me Go neither. figure. <laughs> um, so I don't actually know who this guy is, but I can I can definitely appreciate a dude who who protects, you know, the smaller ones around him. Right. When, when things are going down. Yeah, and that's that's the the big deal and the important deal and things along uh, like that is that he this is not something that people normally do. No, no, he was like, "Fuck my life! I don't, I don't need that. These kids need their lives." Well, and you know, he already lives a good life, and you don't know the life that those kids are going to get to lead. Exactly. Especially if bullets are flying at them. Now he was thinking about the next generation. Not enough people are. Yeah. Or is that a Star Trek reference? No, no. Though the next generation is one of my favorites. I've I've not watched damn near any Star Trek. I think Deep Space Nine is my favorite though. Two. Netflix has almost four times as many streaming subscribers as Comcast has cable subscribers. This is submitted by Specs to Our Technology. So this is kind of a apples and oranges conversation because Comcast provides cable to your house and Netflix provides online streaming. Netflix recently hit 100 million subscribers, mm -hmm. which the CEO, president, whatever the fuck he's called, celebrated by going to Denny's and eating a steak alone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And ever, like everyone was like, wait, why? And he's like, well, that's how I celebrated 1 million and 5 million and 10 million. I don't care if it becomes a billion. This is how I will celebrate. That's amazing. But... Netflix, also being a worldwide company, is of course going to have access to more people, so it makes sense that they would have more subscribers, um, whereas Comcast is limited to Western America. But either way, it's good to see that a company that we kind of like... And Comcast is limited to hell? Comcast fucking sucks. I mean, like, pe more and more people are getting Netflix, where more and more people are trying to figure out how to get rid of Comcast, because... I've not heard good anything about Comcast ever. No, neither have I. Kendall in the chat room regarding the previous story says, taking an arrow to the knee is not as metal as taking a bullet. Uh, it depends on if the uh, how big the, the arrowhead is and if the arrowhead is made out of metal compared to the bullet. Also depends on why you're taking an arrow and why you're taking the bullet. I don't know, man. Nobody shoots anybody anybody nowadays with an arrow. That's what you think. Okay, so maybe I'm out of the loop, but like I feel like it'd be much more fucking metal to take an well, okay, maybe not to the knee, but an arrow. It'd be fucking sick. Think of like 
running through the fucking middle of the forest. Somebody's hunting you. Suddenly, arrow in your back. No, no, what? no, man. You're walking down the street. Fuck, arrow in the knee. And that's where you draw your sword and roll for initiative. <laughs> One. Scientists eliminate HIV in living animals for the first time ever. This was submitted by Brave Pizza to our world news. So this is specifically referring to gene editing. Um, this is where they go, they straight up go in and just edit the DNA to remove HIV from it. What they've done, they infected mice with HIV because that's what we do. And then they went Why? in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do they do it? I don't... Just, oh, come on. They probably just inject them, let's be real. That's what I just did. I... Oh, see, I... That's not what I... You're behind on the video, and that's not what I... What I expected that noise to make. Oh, no. It's a fucking rat, dude. What the fuck? I'm just saying. Either way, the gene editing has pr proved very, very effective in that they were able to get a 96% elimination rate for eco-HIV in the mice, which at that percentage, you can almost just say they got rid of all of it. And this can specifically lead with this high of a success rate, lead to in, um, test, lab testing on humans, which means that we can actually possibly get to the point where we have a cure for HIV. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because the ne next, ne so first AIDS, next cancer. I fucking love science. I swear to God. This is my favorite kind of science. I have no interest in studying it or applying it at all. I just want the the medical science to happen and me to be excited about it. Yeah, this is not my favorite kind of science. What's your favorite kind of science, Nathan? The, the science that brings giant robots together in a fucking rumble. Okay, I can accept that. That's an acceptable answer. I, I need that giant robot fight so bad. But we will hopefully hear more from this. I mean, this the way that these lab tests and stuff works, it's going to be years before anything is actually implemented at all in terms of, like, the world scale. But, It'd be a, at least a clean decade. Yeah, but the fact that we're making any headway at all and have found a possible solution is a is it's a big deal. It's, a, it's impressive as fuck. Yeah. It's huge. Especially because you're editing DNA, which seems fucking crazy. It's, it's because we're all just computer programs. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. We're just... We're hard, hard line in the Matrix right now. We're really complicated programs. Yeah. So, oh, incidentally, Matrix, right? People always give me shit for not seeing it. I was going to go watch it the other mm -hmm. day and I like cuz I got home and I like did some dishes and ate some food and I was like, "Oh, it's like 6:45. I'll watch a movie before the show starts." Matrix is two and a half hours long. Yeah, it is. That is that I that's a long block of time that I have to squeeze in somewhere. Yeah, it is. I don't know Just wait till you get to the extended edition of Lord of the Rings. No, no, no. I've watched <laughs> it. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Nathan, what did you care about in the last 24 hours? In the last 24 hours? Yep. Um, I don't know. I didn't I didn't get to read like any articles today or anything because we had a new person, so I was busy, you know, teaching them some stuff and then I fell asleep during my lunch like I normally do. Good job. So I guess I, I guess what what I cared about today is that um, after I got home, I started watching some some you know JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and uh, I um, I have this one problem with it. That is. Um. So, in the third season, the main character's name is Jotaro Kujo or okay. Jotaro Josuke, depending whatever. Um, the the thing that bothers me is I don't know where his hat ends and his hair begins. Now I have to go look it up. You do. Joe Taro Cujo. Well, I actually the the first thing that popped up is his hat. Like I don't I I don't get where hat be ends and 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 the uh the hair begins. Like it just it's a smooth transition into hair. Like I don't Um I think it's like a a, 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 a it's like a, a essentially like a sun visor but that it looks more like a hat i just I, it it's it's baffling in my opinion it, well i can see the problem like the way that it's drawn the hat straight up just goes into the hair it's i think they did that on purpose like just I, i'm almost positive they did that on purpose 
probably. I mean, people have all kinds of different reasons for, uh, you know, doing different styles and stuff. I'm going to throw this into into the chat, uh, not into the chat, in, onto the stream right now so that people can see it. Because, yeah, like, there there is this... It, it, it's baffling! Oh! There's this hat that literally just flows into his hair. It's driving me insane! But, I mean... Uh, but if you Google, like, if you Google his hat, it's like a, a messenger's cap, which this is definitely not a messenger's cap at all. No. Can, can I open this and just put it over here? And it, yeah, totally can. This is what they say is his hat when it, whenever it loads for you. That is totally not his hat. His hat is like a goddamn weird visor thing. Wait. Is this what? from, Wait. Is this what? from the show? Because this just fucks it even more. What? I, I dropped it in the... In, in, you'll see it in a moment. It's a gif that is confusing. I, I don't know. I won't be able to see it. Just send it to me. Oh, on. no. It's... He has, like, furry hair on his hat. What? I'm not joking. Can you see it now? No, not even the first images have popped up for me yet. Send it to me in the fucking sky. Or not in the you sky. need to reload the chat because the first image is already in the goddamn chat for me. Well, I don't give a shit where it is for you. I give a shit where it is for me. All right, then. Then guess where you're getting it in fucking Hangouts, then. Well, and I'll never see it. That sounds like a you problem. You're a you problem. Uh, so, just, whatever, I'll, I'll copy these and drop it in there for you as, as I'm working here. So, yeah, um, I, I don't know, bud, because now I'm horribly confused. It magically hurts my head. I don't understand. Yep, apparently it's all, it's all part of the, the it, it, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words now with this hat. I, it's baffling. It's stupid. Oh, okay. So it popped up for a second for me. What did? But the the gif. Okay. Well, I mean, it, I it should be on the screen now. I well, whatever. I'd hope so. It's been up there for like thirty seconds. It hurts my head so much. You can see that it. He actually has like hair on the back of the hat. Oh, God, Kirsten fucking uh, posted a, a picture on my page, and it's fucking weird. So, yeah, um, enjoy mm -hmm. that. Good luck with uh, good luck with that. I don't I, I got nothing for you, sir. Uh, I love the I love the show. Absolutely. Though it's, it's so fucking over the top and perfect. Good. It. And it, it fucking crazy. It's uh, oh. Kakioin. Kakioin's the shit. I was watching the new season. He's easily like my favorite character in the season. My my computer. I I think my computer is locking up. I'm just really sad they changed the ending from um roundabout to uh, to motherfucking uh walk like an Egyptian. Nothing's happening anymore, Nathan. What? My computer's crying. Sucks to suck, nerd. Yeah, it does. The following page has been to come unresponsive, you think? Stupid. Alright, anyway. What was going on? Oh yeah, this. <coughs> Steve-o! Steve-o, Steve-o, Steve-o. Uh, Steve-o had surgery to fix a broken leg, um, and he refused painkillers. Um, he only accepted Advil, and the reason for this is that he had a massive drug addiction, and he did not want to take any form of painkiller because he was, he ain't about that life anymore. Uh, that's, that's some fucking dedication right there. Yeah, considering you had, o like, someone cut you open to fix your leg, and you're like, I'll just deal with the pain, it's better than possibly getting rehooked on that shit. That's, I, I mean... Once you fucking hit rock, he's probably hit rock bottom a couple times. He knows that he he doesn't want that. Yeah, I know. A, that's a good thing that he understands his limits. It's really respectful to see someone that I mean, because like he's not hurting for money, and he easily could pay for those painkillers or just you know whatever the hell he needed to get through that surgery. But instead, he is a enough of an adult to 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 be an adult through it. Oh, God, 
I, I, w I would not be able to handle that. Yeah, right? I'm like, ah, oh, geez, that power, power to you, Steve-O. Like, I, if anyone is, like, jealous of the money that Steve-O has, don't be. The stuff that that guy has put himself through and gone through and has dealt with, like... You should not be jealous of what he's done for his money. He's kind of a whore in a way. Yeah, he whores his body out, just not for sexual favors. Instead, basically anything and everything else. Yeah, def definitely. It's kind of impressive he's alive, actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, good job, Stevo. You, you, uh, you keep, you just keep doing the Stevo thing. I don't know. I think after a while, you should probably stop doing the Stevo thing. Uh, okay, yeah, maybe. You're kind of hurting yourself, dude. Also, apparently, I really need to watch One Punch Man. You do. You fucking. I've been telling you this. Ah! I, but but video games, dog. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I also have anime I need to finish anyway already. Then watch it before the show, like I do. I, uh, no. That's how I finished the Shinara Chronicles, even though that's not an anime. That's how I finished uh, recently. Um, that's how I caught up to My Hero Academia. That's how I finished Blue Exorcist Kyoto Saga. I also That's... really want to watch all of uh, Avatar or The Last Airbender because I've not I'm... actually seen the whole thing. I haven't finished Korra. Well, that's what you get to work on tomorrow. Uh, no, that's not because I'm finishing goddamn JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And then, and then I should probably finish Fate Stay Night. See, that's one of the things that I was working on finishing is Fate Zero. The Yeah. The the first part the of it the prequel thing yeah it's really good it is uh i watched chains of hecates i think it was that one's kind of very fantasy but you know whatever i think grimgar fantasy and ash is amazing and I, I can't wait for more episodes of that they only have one season but like they made a fight scene between low-level individuals and goblins look great yeah you can totally do it it was, and I love the art because, like, they have the regular anime, like, drawn character art style, but in the background, all of the background is watercolors. Sure. So it looks fucking, oh, gorgeous all the time. All right. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Sure. Everybody, if you'd like to help support this show, help me uh, upgrade the computer so we don't have these technical issues or just I'll help. I'll put up a blanket for tomorrow. Or help the show grow. Um, patreon.com slash daily internet. If you have a dollar a month that you can spare a month, then, uh, we would, we, we would ask you for it. And that is patreon.com slash daily internet. Otherwise follow us and share us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of those are at I read it cast. Otherwise, you can send us what your thoughts on the show by leaving us a review on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play. The video is also available on YouTube as well as Facebook. We go live on Facebook Monday through Thursday at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Otherwise, we'd love to hear from you. If you've got a story that you want us to talk about or a question for us or anything at all, even if it's a simple would you rather, send us an email to our inbox at feedback.ireddit at gmail.com or you can just ask us yourself over the phone by calling and leave us a voicemail at 508-738-2278. That is it, everybody. Kevin McLeod does our music at incompetech.com. That is episode 281, your 281st dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwann. And you thought it was Nathan, but it was really me, Dio. And uh, Josh's guest. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.